There we go, our first empty bottle. And I do remember what we're going to want to put in here, so I'll just do that on the way to our destination. Let's see, can I do that right here? We're going to want to get water inside it. Uh, can we lift these? Ooh, we can, okay. Still not many places we can go just yet. And now we have arrived at Mount Crannell's base, which is pretty cool. Okay, so you do take bomb damage in this game, that's good to know. Now we've got another business scrub. I don't remember what this one sells. Oh, okay, he's just telling us we want the bottle. Alright. We can get ourselves 20 rupees. Rupees have been pretty useful in this game so far. And then, yeah, as you can probably tell, we're going to want to sprinkle the water on this thing. This little sprout, I guess you would call it. Now we can make our way up. I think we can climb it yet. Yeah, we need to get the right item first. Okay, a fairy fountain. I think we're gonna get our bottle empty again, but I'll take the rupees. But yeah, otherwise I might have gotten one in my bottle, because if you do that, you can... They'll save you when you die, basically. Oh, okay, so that's a clue. If you uh, poke your sword against certain walls, they'll make that sound, which means they can explode. Otherwise, it would make uh, this sound. So the lower pitched one means the wall is brittle and you can explode it, which is cool. Cool little detail there. Looks like we don't get anything for defeating them, unfortunately. Oh, and since it's our first time transforming inside one of these, we can't skip the cutscene, it looks like, but that's okay. So yeah, that's what the inside of these uh, Minish portals look like, the rock ones. Oh, I should have exploded that first. That was dumb of me. I wish there was a fast way to explode the bombs in this game, but I don't think there is. But we'll just head through this little crevice. You never know when these guys might drop uh, rupees or kinstone pieces, so I'll go ahead and uh, defeat them when it's convenient. give me anything too good. But yeah, we're gonna want to get this for sure. The mineral water. Looks like Mountain Dew. So I guess that's kind of fitting.
Let's see, I don't think there's anything up there, at least not that I'm remembering. So we'll want to just head on this way. Okay, there's two ways we can go. I'll see what's in here first. We're running low on bombs, so I hope we do get a bomb drop soon. Pulling on those, you want to let go of the D-pad, not the R button. With these guys, I think you can pull their masks off. Uh, once you've... Oh, yep, he's saying the same thing. Once you've pulled off their iron masks, those guys are no trouble whatsoever. Alright, thank you, Ezlo. Nice to know I remembered that, right? How silly of me. Hey, my boy, jump into that whirlwind over there for me. <laughs> I wonder, is this a great idea or a terrible one? We shall find out. There we go, turned out to be a pretty great idea. Not sure what's down there, but I'm guessing it's not too important, so I'm gonna just skip that for now. Okay, so yeah, what we're gonna wanna do is head there in Minish form. Oh yeah, we can clear this out of the way. I forgot. That's why they wanted us to use our Gust Jar. You want to be careful not to touch that stuff while in Minish form, because I'm pretty sure you'll actually take damage. Okay. Stone piece. I guess that's pretty good. Hopefully it unlocks something nice for our trouble here. Probably would have been faster to just fall in the pit and respawn. Oh no, because he doesn't respawn at the beginning, so never mind. Now that we got that, we will head over to this right here. And then, yeah, we're gonna wanna lift that, I'm pretty sure, yeah. So we'll lift this little seed, carry it out here. I really like the details in these Minish, minish sections, how uh, they include little commonplace objects that are really big. It's a nice touch. But anyway, once you've done that, you want to go back down here and return to normal size. And then sprinkle the mineral water on it. And then that takes us to Mount Krennel proper. So we're really high up the mountain now. Mm 
Not sure exactly which way we want to go. Oops, forgot to equip the item. Hmm. Okay. Apparently those guys are invulnerable. We still can't climb. Aha, okay, I remembered there being something over here. Don't know how you're supposed to figure that out, but I did remember it being there. Oops, I did not mean to place a bomb. Great, that was a waste. Meant to lift that. Anyway, there's another kinstone piece for us. Okay, there's a bomb refill, so we're good. Ooh, okay, I don't know if... Maybe we have to throw a pot at him? Okay, there we go. That should be able to blow up both those blocks at once. There we go. I trapped myself in here. Ah, uh, and we have to blow up the bombs, or not the bombs, the blocks again. Ah, uh, that's how we do it. Okay, that was a cool little puzzle. And then I think if we use our gust jar, we can get whatever is over here. Oh, no, looks like it doesn't reach. Okay, let's see. I think we want to go up here instead of jumping back down. Okay, but we can't really do anything about that yet. Another business scrub. Alright, I'm glad we have enough rupees for that. We definitely want that. With that, it should be much easier to get up and down this mountain. Okay, that's for later. Uh, we'll try going back down here. Okay, and that's what that's for right here. Oh, come on. Okay, I think there is a little cheat, actually, where you can do this. Ooh, wait. There we go. That's much more convenient if you mess that up. Don't know if it's intentional or not, but since I did it the normal way already, I'll use this as a shortcut.
Let's see, okay, we haven't been down here, or have we? Oh, okay, we were here earlier, but we couldn't do anything. Ooh, okay, that looked, see, that just looked like there should have been an entrance there, because, like, it's, I don't know, just the way it was placed between those two stones just looked suspicious. Ooh. I'll take that. Maybe catch a fairy while I'm here. Don't want to accidentally waste that, so I'll just equip my shield. There we go, now we can scale this wall no problem. Oh wow, he climbed super fast sideways, that's crazy. But convenient for avoiding those rocks, I guess. And then this should be near the peak, I think. But we gotta see what's over here. Okay, can't go in there yet. Ooh, well let's talk to him first and then we'll do the Kinstone Fusion. I'm the Krennel Hermit. I left the world to pursue a life of quiet reflection. You seem to be but a child, and yet you climbed this forbidding mountain alone? I must reward your courage with a little information. Have you not seen strange patterned walls as you climbed this mountain? Bombs. Bombs are the answer. Okay, so I think he's telling us about that piece of heart. Ah, uh, looks like we can't fuse kinstones with this guy, sadly. We'll have to turn him down. Anyway, we'll head on back up. Uh, if you're wondering, that other entrance cannot be exploded with bombs. There's another way to get in that we'll have to do later. But we'll just cross this chasm here. And now suddenly it's raining, which is interesting. Also, this music is from A Link to the Past. Fittingly, it's the Time of Falling Rain theme. These raindrops are like boulders of water to us, kid. Watch out. If one of them hits us, it'll sting something fierce. So yeah, if you want to avoid the rain as much as possible. When you're a minish size, even something as uh, insignificant as rain can be a threat. And we can't we can't even cross over these little uh, stones here, we're that small. Yeah, I think it's really cool that they use the Link to the Past music here. They also do that for the Game Over theme, but obviously I hope not to Game Over. Even though the Game Over music is very beautiful in this game. Ooh, okay, I think I messed that up. Ah, uh, okay, we want to get a path over there. Very clever. Thankfully, that refreshes it. Okay, I have to be more careful about how I do this this time. I think we're on the right track. Then we'll push it down. Yep, okay, there we go. Then we'll just push it back up here. 
and boom, we have a nice little path for ourselves. But we've got another cave ahead of us. Mount Krennel is actually pretty large. Let's see, we've got another little block puzzle here. Hmm. And then I think that should hopefully work. Okay, that one won't move. That one will, but it's stuck. Some of these block puzzles in this game are actually pretty tricky. It is a little bit annoying if you fail one and have to like reset the whole area. But I do enjoy the puzzle. Okay, I see what we want to do. I think. We want to make room to move that block. There we go. Nice. Okay, so that's how we get out of that one. Very clever. We've still got more mountain to climb ahead of us. I like that they actually find quite a few uses for the gust jar in this game. It's a fun little item. Okay, that's not what I intended to happen there. Ooh, I think we have to do this. There we go. There better be something good back here. Five bombs? Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, I see. There we go. Ooh, nice. Got them both. 20 rupees. It's pretty good. And our trek continues, our endless trek up this mountain. I actually like the sense of scope though. It's pretty cool. And I am enjoying all these little puzzles, so I can't really complain. Okay, how do we want to get in there? Hmm. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Alright, getting, getting lots of kinstone pieces here, but not too many opportunities to use them yet. But anyway, with that, I think we have arrived at the next town, so I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I hope to see you next time.